What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to my channel. On this video here, I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I do myself to bounce back after the whole post Easter weekend festivities. Because man, that was it was lovely. I had a lot of beverages, some alcoholic, some not, and a lot of calories. A lot of calories and a good amount of protein don't get me wrong because you got to get that protein in there especially that grilled chicken that we had oh mama but look it I'm out here and I already knew since I enjoy myself to that extent I'm out here and we are out here for two hours now check this out we are currently at 8.24 miles like I said, we've been out here from an hour, 53 minutes, eight, almost eight and a half miles. That is amazing. I feel good. I feel really good. So right now I'm just finishing up. I'm finishing up, getting back to the facility and continue with the workout. A lot of times after a festivity like that, I tend to do just body weight exercises, just calisthenics, getting my flexibility mobility all that good stuff so it's nothing nothing better than doing some navy seal burpees so we're gonna be still doing our 50 navy seal burpees and then i'm gonna add one more 15 minute workout check it out come on And as you can see, with my weigh-in, I weighed in at 194, Monday morning, March 10th, right? March 10th, so this is March 10th, yeah, March 10th, 2023. If you're new here to my channel, I like to maintain around 185 pounds, and my body fat is around 15%, so I'm gonna show you guys how much I can lose in one week, okay? How much I can lose because, because, a lot of it is water weight, just like I always say, a lot of it is water weight. But what you wanna do is prevent from excess calories converting into body fat. So as soon as you get moving, as the, the sooner the better, get moving, start using that glycogen, start using your storages, rest, recover, replenish, and then again, get rid of those those storages, you won't build body fat. You won't build body fat. If you even do maybe a tiny bit compared to not doing anything, uh, you get a better outcome. But anyways, let's go into the Navy SEAL burpee. There it is. So that was my second round. Right now, right now I'm doing 10 Navy SEALs every three minutes. 10 Navy SEALs. Get a good little breather. Remember it's Monday. It's Monday, so you wanna gradually move in to the more intense exercises. That's why I always say that I start with body weight exercises, getting my flexibility, mobility and uh, burning some calories that's all we're doing is burning excess calories so i want to deplete my whole body that way it doesn't create any body fat and you're going to see the difference i'm going to be weighing in myself as we continue throughout this week my workout consists of monday and tuesday and then rest wednesday and then again thursday and Friday back to back. And then we have a family workout on Sunday here. Not too intense, a lot more maxing out and bench pressing, deadlifting and stuff like that on Sundays, me and my family. So 
I actually work out five days out of the week. My rest days are Wednesdays and Saturdays. But that's how you, that's how you combat. If you go out and you enjoy yourself a little bit more than usual, be disciplined. Have, be responsible for the excess calories that you consume. You already know, by now you should be knowing your daily calorie intake, your portion control, your portions, right? So once you see that, okay, I consumed like double or triple what I usually eat normally, so the next day I'm gonna go in and do more than I usually do normally. Let's go into the third round. That is 40 right there. That is 40, four rounds so far. We have one more round and we're done. Eight miles, 50 Navy SEAL burpees. And I still got one more exercise that I need to include. So stand by for that one. But man, this thing, this fourth round got me. The other day, somebody asked when we when I go out and enjoy myself with way more calories than usual the next day let's say mon Monday do I keep the same amount of calories that I usually do that I have as a deficit or should I lower them even lower in order to create a bigger deficit since I have way more excess calories in me should I lower it more than what I usually have? And my answer to that is no, just keep that deficit. You don't wanna rush, you don't wanna go extreme on your weight loss. You don't wanna lose 10 pounds in, in a couple of days. I always have uh, suggested 10 pounds a week, a lot of that is water weight, but no, keep your regular deficit and gradually you'll remove all that water weight and body fat. Last round, this is it right here. Let's finish them up. Navy Seals. There it is right there. So the last exercise that we have is just pretzel sit up. Pretzel sit up. All it is is right here. 50 pretzel sit ups. And that includes the workout for me post Easter weekend. Man, staying fit forever means being responsible for the excess calories that you consume. And it's all right, if you wanna consume excess, and you don't wanna gain weight, body fat weight, then be responsible to burn them throughout the next week. Stay fit. Stay living, stay living your life, and I'll see you on the next video. You guys take care, be safe, mind, body, and strive. Bye-bye.